everyone, it's Sarah. I just wanted to share a mini album, actually my first mini album that I actually finished. And I finished this last night at around like 11. So here's what it looks like. And um, this mini album um, was kind of difficult for me because I don't have a lot of the tools that are used to make mini albums. So I like had, I learned, um, I made a bunch of mistakes along the way, let's just put it that way. Like, um, you can see the first mistake on my cover, I tried to put an eyelet in so I could do um, a ring binding, but I don't have an eyelet setter, so, or like a crocodile, so it didn't really work out. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but this mini album is just for me, so I, I don't really care about the mistakes. So the cover, it says life, and um, these blue metallic letters are from Target. In their scrapbooking section, they have um, these color block um, letters for 99 cents, a packet of them. And what I did was... I distressed them with black and gold paint, if you can see that. And then um, these two larger flowers are um, Recollections roses that I got from Michaels. And then this rose I made myself using um, a flower punch, which broke somehow. <laughs> I don't know, the punch isn't working anymore. Um, if you guys have any tips on how to make punch that might not punch anymore work, please let me know. And then I added um, one of the Recollections flowers that I, and all of these flowers I put like um, gold paint on the edges on, on the tips of them. And then these two corners here and here are um, some chipboard corners from a chipboard packet from Joann's. It was like in the clearance section. And what I did was I painted them black and then put gold embossing powder on them and heated them with my heat tool. And I heated them like a lot until the acrylic paint underneath started to bubble so that they got this kind of a texture. If it's gonna focus for me. You can see it. Yeah. So, yeah. So I wanted to um, close the mini with Velcro, but I couldn't find the Velcro that I got. So I ended up just using um, some clear photo corners that you use to usually put pictures onto a layout or something. I just put two of them here underneath this piece of paper so that the corners of this little flap um, strip of poster board will um, slip under. So that's how it closes. And the mini opens like this. So it opens like this. So I'll start with the first page. It's um, I made a couple pockets. Um, this blue colored um, paper that you see throughout the mini is actually poster board because I had a s scrap of it and it's like pretty thin poster board it's not thick so that's why I used it as it's kind of sturdier than the paper so I used that to connect all of them and I'll if I find the video of who did this um, binding technique I'll be sure to put them on here but I can't remember who did it right now so, um, this piece I punched with my Martha Stewart border punch, so, um, there's a pocket behind there, and then there's also a pocket behind this piece of paper. All of this paper is Kane Company, um, it's just from a basic stack of single-sided papers, and then I just, like, picked the ones that went together from the paper stack. This tag is actually, um... I save all my tags from um, jeans and like when you buy clothing and they have like thin chipboard tags attached to them with like the labels. So this one was like a Levi's jean tag or something and um, I painted it black so that the writing wouldn't show through the paper. And then I, 
um, Mod Podge some paper on both sides of it and, and then this side I took a credit card and used it to make some black lines out of paint so I can journal on there and then I added some bling in the corner and then tied this is the twine um, this rope kind of thing came with the tag so I just left it in there and so that tucks in behind there and then if you move along this page right here I just made a simple pocket um, out of a piece of paper that I um, adhered on three sides or two sides um, so it's like a triangle then I used some of this um, felt or vel velvet trim from American Crafts that I got from Big Lots and um, I added some bling to the middle of this flower that's on the paper and then I made one this tag out of um, two pieces of padded paper or a piece of padded paper and a piece of white cardstock I did the same um, credit card line techniques so that I can journal on there and um, this side um, is embossed with my um, catalog folder and then I took some gold paint and um, went over it, over the raised areas, and um, I went around the edges of all of these tags with um, gold paint as well. And then I made this little um, tab just by hand. I just cut a strip of um, a piece of that blue poster board, folded it in half, and then just cut a shape out of it and... Um, glued it on there so that I had a little tab to pull this out so that goes behind here and I can put a picture behind here if I wanted to and then the next page I put a couple Prima flowers that I um, edged with gold and a button in the middle and a recollections um, leaf and I glued them on in a way that they created a little um, pocket so that this larger tag slash photo mat could um, stick behind there and then there's also room for a photo right there and you can see all of my mistakes when I was like adhering the paper on there yeah <laughs> this is the only way that I was gonna learn how to do it and um, I made another um, tab the same way I made that tab and then the next page um, this one, this page is, um, there's a pocket right here, and then there's this tag inside of it. It's really thin because it's just one sheet of paper, and I stapled some more of that, um, trim onto it. I just did it in gold. That sticks behind here, and then this could be a place to put a photo, and then you can lift up this tab on the bottom. And it opens up like this so that there's room to put a picture here and here. So yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. And if you have any questions on how I did that, just let me know and maybe I'll do a tutorial on it. But it's pretty simple. It's just to, um, I hate to hear this piece of paper on three sides and yeah. Actually, I'm not that good at explaining it, but. <laughs> and then this last page is actually the back of the mini so that's these two photo corners are where the binding slips in and it, it's a pocket so I could eventually stick something else back there and um, I wasn't sure if I should do anything to the back of all of these pages so I just um, put pattern paper on them and yeah so then when I want to close it up it just accordion folds back together like this and then this um, strip of poster board just slips in to these two corners back here I might eventually do the velcro thing if I get more velcro to do it and yeah so I left it kind of loose so that um, if I do want to embellish the other pages and it gets thicker then um, it'll be able to handle that. So yeah, that's what my mini looks like. And then 
also last night when I finished that, um, I was like kind of still in my creative mood. So, oh, and by the way, that mini was made out of these coasters that you can get from Michaels for a dollar for a pack of eight. And um, I ended up not using three of them out of that pack because they're pretty thick. And um, yeah, so this is made with one, two, three, four, five. The mini is made with five of these coasters, and so I have three left over, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I'm sure I'll find something. So, um, the other day, or actually it was a while ago, I went to Michael's, and in their clearance bins, they had some metal letters, like wall hangings, and they were 50 cents, I believe. So I picked up an S because my name starts with S. So it originally looks like this, like black, plain black. Actually, it doesn't look that plain anymore because I kind of got got it dirty. But it has this little hanging um, mechanism in the back. And so it's plain black and it's pretty thin metal. So what I did was I um, kind of altered it, but I just basically decorated it. And first thing I did was I took my extra strips of paper because when I was cutting the paper for the mini um sorry what I was saying was I had a bunch of extra strips of paper from cutting the paper to go on that coaster mini so what I did was I laid them diagonally across the um, metal letter just like butted them against each other and I glued them on and then I trimmed it out with my exacto knife and I put some Recollections bling on it and a couple more Recollections roses and some leaves. I edged the whole thing in black paint and gold paint and that's it. Now I can hang it on my wall. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.